Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to look at this new DIY project that I've got together and I was talking about in my last video. But first, let's have a shout out to Melanie J. Rockstar, Aesthetically Yours and Anne. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, you guys, I made it into a DIY. So you'll get this beautiful journal that's fabric covered. We covered that together here online. And it is already decorated in the front. And it has a wonderful journaling tag here that's snuggled down in. It comes with this beautiful tassel with the gorgeous button streamers and this little charm that has a tree on it. It's got lace and uh, sorry silk and it is uh, has a little bow at the top and then it, it attaches by this little mechanism right here, this little clip, and it attaches right here onto this loop right there, that metal circle. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get inside. So it, oh yes, and it attaches with this sorry silk that we attached together as well. So you come inside and we have pages and this journal is eight inches by five and a half inches and it has 36 pages, six built-in pockets, the removable tassel, and let's get going here. I've got my notes I'm looking at. So I did a little bit of stamping in here. So this page has some stamping on it, just very lightly. And this is your first pocket that's sewn in permanent. Some uh, tissue, not tissue, tracing paper. Beautiful uh, dyed doily. A little piece of collage, digitalcollage.com paper. And then I did a little bit of stamping on that notebook paper and the blue paper with some splatters and some more images from digitalcollage.com. I did another one of those stamps like we did on our tag that was that's in the front in that pocket. Another little stamp over here. So here we go, some more tracing paper, another pocket, that splattered pa paper that I just love that right there. And then you can see through this tracing paper and you can see that beautiful doily. And then you see the doily and then you turn and then there's an image of a doily right there on the coffee dyed paper. That's so pretty. Another blue splattery paper. And here's the center, and the center has two charms. It has, I'm going to turn them so you can see them and lift this up. There's a butterfly and there's a key. And this is sewn with some very um, shimmery teal colored embroidery thread. And there's another pocket that's built in right here. Another image of the coffee dyed doily on this paper. Some Another one of those blue doilies. A little bit of tracing paper. Some more of the splatter paper. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's so pretty. And another little pocket that's built in. Some more tracing paper. An old copy of a letter. Some more book page. A little bit more stamping, some more blue page with the splatter, book page, another side tuck, another beautiful doily, tracing paper, and another permanent tuck. And then we have our grid paper with a little bit of stamping right there. And the last page is splattered with some darker uh, paint. Okay, so now what do we have to go with this? So 
I am going to, I've got all kinds of stuff, but I'm going to grab this right now. So this here is a what I would use as a belly band, and it fits perfectly right here. And in this kit, you'll get all kinds of things to decorate this belly band, but it's perfect size. It's already sewn around the edges, and you just glue it right there in the front, or you could glue it in the back, it, whatever you prefer, because this would be your journal, and you can do as you wish. There is a bottom tuck that you can decorate, and it is a perfect size. And there are two side tucks that you can also decorate any way you want. They can turn both ways. Perfect size, all ready to go. This paper here that we lined it with, I made a couple more tags and sewed around the edge that you can decorate with some sari silk. So you can stick this into any of the pockets that are already made, just like that, if you so desire. Then we have some scraps. So, you know, when you make a journal, you always have scraps, and scraps are always lovely to have for decorating other pieces of ephemera. So you've got a scrap of the beautiful blue, a scrap of the grid, a scrap of the book page, and two, hard, three hard, um, uh, huh, cardstock <laughs> uh, that has been printed on both sides that match this journal perfectly. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what else do we have? We have all these pieces here that you can use for decorating. We have some bling. We have some buttons. We have some floral bling right there. We have some images of birds and ferns and tickets and numbers. There's some tabs that have been punched out that you can use that you can use on this journal because there is enough space between the pages and the hard co cover that you can go ahead and put in a tab wherever you want. I love tabs in a journal. I just think, I don't know, I just think they look so super cool. And then there are numbers and there's three beautiful butterflies that go with the color theme going on here. Let me set this aside and show you there's still more. So you're going to be getting these beautiful um, clusters here that are also the correct color for this theme here that will blend in beautifully. You can select whatever page you want to put this on or if you want to put it on a, a tuck spot or the belly band or if you want to put it on a piece of ephemera. You could do that too on one of the tags that will come in this kit. I also have some a scrap, a piece of the beautiful material that was used. I also cut this image out of the material and I went ahead and I kept it from raveling by putting glue all around the edge. It doesn't alter anything, it just keeps it from unraveling on you. There's a nice amount of beautiful lace that will go perfectly with this. And some more of that sari silk that we used for the tie and the ruffle. And I went ahead and ironed this before I used it. So if you don't want it to look like this, you could iron yours as well. So I still have some more. I have some pieces of ephemera. Let's see, I have 14 pieces of ephemera. I have this beautiful little fold down right here that you can journal on. It goes perfectly with the color. I have this little piece that you flip up and you journal on this little tiny little book. You could put it in a pocket or you could glue the back and actually place it down onto the journal um, page. I have this tag here that you can put some of that sorry silk if you want or glue a little lace on the edge or whatever you desire. I have this beautiful envelope here. Oh, and it's got that stamp that is used throughout the little journal. You put whatever you want inside. I have another one of those fold downs in the black. 
I think that would look lovely as well. Now let me pull this in. You can see how that goes so nicely. This is a faux glassine bag and it opens up just like this. You can put items inside. There you go. This is adorable. It's a butterfly tag sewn around the edge. This one's a beautiful bird. Nice shape. I like that shape of that one. Here's one of those specimen cards that we have with the beautiful blue butterfly. And here's another little tag here with the beautiful roses. It's got a doily image on the back. Isn't that pretty? And then this is one of those Roxy creations that we did, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. We did that together, and that goes nicely as well. We made this as another one of those Roxy's uh, challenges, and I changed mine up, and I stamped mine differently on those circle labels. And that, those colors go very nice as well. Everything here blends together. Oh, I just love this. Isn't that adorable? With the bling and the little butterfly child. See how it just blends in so beautifully? Oh, my goodness. And then this piece of ephemera, it has a little Velcro closure. You open it up, and it has a cloth, and you lift it up, and then you can journal. And some uh, tracing papers in there, and some coffee dyed paper, and some more tracing paper. That's real cute right there. Now you can put this into that belly band. Now let's just say you're going to put that belly band in the back. You can, let me grab that belly band real quick. You can put that right there, and then that will just hold that right there. And it goes so nicely, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, you guys. All right. Well, this is the next DIY project. And if you're interested in this, then it will be in my itchy, itchy, not my itchy shop, my itsy shop. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.